Yeah, man, it's uh, 17th of May, 2023, and I want to tell you a couple of things about photography and EMF broadcasts, like the nearly invisible hologram broadcasts that gang stalkers are able to control, pilot, live as, um, experience being somewhere other than your physical body while they're living as broadcast and what they physically attack us with. Um, you might notice a, like a lot of times when you take a picture, how if you take a picture of, of yourself or a person, how it'll make those squares right where their face is. It's a facial recognition uh, technology. And a lot of times when I take pictures of the places where they're attacking me because I do it like 50 times a day probably. And a lot of those times, uh, and that's one of the ways I know when I, when I'm getting a better picture than other times is that the facial recognition will pop up and show a square, you know, just right on my leg or something like it sees a face and it's because it does see a face and that's that's kind of significant. Um, also, I noticed that when I'm doing edits, a lot of the time, the them, their broadcast shows up better in the red spectrum. Like if I use the curve setting and kind of shift everything to show more red and it gives it like some depth and that usually shows their broadcast better too. But, uh, you know, this is just a real quick video, but uh, you guys... Might want to get, you know, some basic apps like, uh, you know, I used to use Fotor and I actually still have it, but they charge a lot for the um, pro version now. So I I canceled my subscription because it's like it's it's ridiculous and it just hasn't expired yet. Um, but now I use Snapseed because it's free. It's basic. Anything where you have the curve setting and there's a few other ones on snapseed but it's very basic uh gimp is very good for um desktop and it's a lot like uh photoshop but it's free um gimp g-i-m-p and i use that on my mac and uh, a lot of times though you know you start to do edits and find different you know isolate different frequencies and see different spectrums of and it, and it starts to bring out broadcasts where you can see it a lot better. And another thing you'll see a lot is uh, the, the the numbers and letters, like a stream of letters or something like that. Sometimes it'll be like an IP address or something. And that's them doing like an advertisement, like, hey, come watch my live stream. You know, it's right here. And you, you might see like their broadcast standing there and then like maybe they're like presenting a stream of letters or something because they they know that that it's like very difficult to see but they have cap the capability to see that stuff whether they're on broadcast they're able to see broadcast or whether they're not they're able to run it through some uh special type of filters and programs that they already have worked out and uh photography is a, a big thing you know i'm doing the computer programming uh, for college. And, uh, it's, I'm just taking my time at this point. I'm taking my time and I study financial stuff all the time to put myself in a financial position to do something about them. But, um, photography and light spectrums and stuff like that is also very important. So, you know, if they, if you feel like somewhere hurting on you, on your body really bad, take a picture of that and then run, run it through and try some different stuff in some of these applications where you can edit photography and it really might help you to see broadcasts and even uh, it's even possible to see, you know, the links or the, the advertisements to whatever, whether it be in an IP address, I've seen it, I've seen it where it was like an FTP address. Um, you know, a lot of times it's just some words and, um, you know, but that's something that they do. They advertise like that for, hey, come watch my live stream of gang stalking this person. EMF broadcasts our hologram broadcast live stream while we attack this person. And um, it's sad because, you know, a lot of people have neural monitoring and they just kind of stand by and let, let these idiots do this. And, you know, maybe uh, maybe I would 
kind of mind my own business if I was one of them, but I'm not. I'm I'm one of the victims of this horrible torture, so I'm I'm not gonna mind my own business about it. Um, so you know, there's a lot of people that probably don't ever want me to get neural monitoring because um, I'm very disgruntled about the whole situation. And who wouldn't be? Who wouldn't be after a decade of torture and these people have tried to kill me and run me off the road and attack my genitals and Today, they've been attacking my neck all day with broadcasts all in my neck, feeling like I'm going to have some kind of rupture, attacking my feet and knees, got me limping around, you know, all in my eyes all the time. You know, who wouldn't be disgruntled? Who wouldn't want to see them um, put to death legally in the judicial system with capital punishment? I would. I'd want to see that broadcast torture, capital punishment for gang stalkers. Anyway, um, maybe think about doing some of that with... Um, you know, some photo editing, uh, you know, if you get very advanced with it, then it could really help you a lot. That's all I'm going to say.